One of the things that always gets me with young conductors is we tend to listen to a recording, and the danger of listening to a recording is that we tend to hear the surface. You can imitate the surface of something, but you don't necessarily understand the structure and the process that brought it about. You've got all of the sort of things in the right place, but in terms of how they cohere, it seems to me that at the moment there isn't a real sense of the trajectory of how the movement works and where these things fit in. Our job is to find for ourselves some type of internal underlying logic as to why it's this and not something else. And everything hangs on this logic. For me, the whole thing is based on this minor third thing. And what Ives is pulling out of the minor third is that it's actually a kind of combination of a lot of different folk songs. With an American orchestra, most of these people probably kind of get the themes, so you need to sort of bring these out. The thing is, they're all playing it, and they're playing you know, what it is you want, but you have to, to actually ask for all of these little things out of them, and then they'll do it. Do you want, for example, ti-do-di, or do you want ti-do-di? He's taken real care on his tempo thing. If you, if you draw it as a kind of line to go, But he's, he's like building, so it's, it's literally guys marching up a mountain. And he has the metaphor in the score which is written, there's this sudden pullback like everybody when they're going up a hill just slows down the tread a little bit unconsciously. What's so brilliant is the way that he brings it in under the radar. It's like this slow motion melody that's gradually emerging, exactly like the people in St. Gaudens Monument are emerging from the Brahms and you can barely see them. And the whole point is, these are the dead that are coming through. But this ground is hallowed. More than we can honor them, this ground does. I mean, it's total Gettysburg Address stuff. I totally tear up. I can't read through the Gettysburg Address without the tears coming down. Because it's just this sort of thing that government of the people, by the people, and for the people, with these guys going in, this is courage like we rarely get to see in our own lifetime. So this should be like this big gospel moment. Yeah.